Hey, everybody, going to the next part two. Bowser's Charismatic Trap. Part two about much games, not CA. And yeah. Cream Puff. We're going to finish off the Cream Puff Clouds today. And probably start the beginning of the next world. Sound like an idea? Sounds like an idea to me. Hopefully, there is no bull. You know. In other words, getting screwed over in the game and all that. You know, stupid hits, things like that. We'll have to wait and see. By that bully bill, and there's the key hole that we got in the last video. Hmm. So, so far, this is an interesting hack. I don't think there's much left to it, to be honest. Find on a few videos and most likely be over. I would assume. Hmm. Oh, it looks like this is icy. Yep. So we're in the clouds, there's ninjas, and of course now it's ice. It's all I've really need ice. Oh well. At least I got my new controller today for my uh, iPad. I just haven't used it yet. Because uh, I just recently got Final Fantasy 7 on the iPad and I don't mind using the hard screen controls. They're not actually bad. Oops, I forgot about these. These were uh, like the donut blocks from Mario 3. Uh, so yeah, I haven't tr only taken out the box yet, but uh, I could have got it on Amazon, I think, for like 80, uh, like $80 or something. And that was just a regular version. Um, or s anyway. So I went on Apple's website. They do, surprisingly people, if you didn't notice, they do sell third party stuff, like controllers and things like that. And stands for iPads and stuff like that. So... I went on their website and looked up game controllers, and I found the controller I was looking for, the XL, ver uh, XL version, so the larger version, for like $45, and that's Canadian, so I was like, $45 Canadian for that, or we'll probably like $70, bucks, 70 dollars and shipping and all that on Amazon, which I usually use, for the same controller, and then I'm like, hmm, or I can go on Apple's, have free shipping, probably get it like a week or so into September, or pay like an extra $13 and have it expedited, which still, probably come up to about $60 or so, give or take, and it's still cheaper than if I had to go on Amazon for it, and I get the bigger version, the bigger version of the controller, it kind of looks a lot like an Xbox, uh, Xbox One controller, X, uh, controller, but I haven't taken it out of the box yet, so, and it's Bluetooth, and then it's, it's Bluetooth, so I actually have Bluetooth on my laptop here, so I might even give it a try um, see if I can use it on my laptop too. It says it's for iPhones, iPods, and um, iPads, but I say when it's Bluetooth enabled, it probably will work on a laptop too. If, uh, if it has Bluetooth. So, anyway. I don't like these. Uh, I don't like that, the flashing. You know, anybody who can get seizures in that uh, might want to uh, wait and, and not watch at this point and wait till I tell you that the flashing's over. Because it could hurt your eyes. Uh, power up here. Nope, you're should one. Also, Bon- uh, Bong is doing a Mario hack too, so you should- You're probably checking that out. If you follow about me and him, most likely a lot of you follow him more than 
So check it out and also Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star 4? You started? So yeah. But I like doing the Mario hacks. I do them every now and then. Mainly because I get requested them to do some some of them every now and then. Other times I don't. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, I can tell I'm not gonna like this part. I can tell the save states are coming, or the rewinds are coming, or both. And the frustration is concerned. I don't like the fact that it's flashing at this point, and that freaking cloud's dropping the light from the lightning bolts. It's very distracting, and that's probably the point of it. But I must say, the person who created this, if you're watching Gamma V, yeah, this, this level here I don't like. I like the design, but I don't like the flashing, uh, flashing, uh, possibly like the thunder and lightning flashing, and the fact that it's a lightning guy. I know it's supposed to be difficult, and it looks cool, but it's, you know, a little bit overkill, I think. But that's just me. That's just me. Now, like I said, I might just use save states for this part. Oh, we'll probably at the end then, anyway. Oh yeah, okay, we're good. Never mind then. I'm still working on Colonel 112's uh, father's computer. That's pretty much almost. That's pretty much done. Um, basically done. You know, we got everything pretty much done except for one issue, and it probably involves me taking the computer apart. Near the story. Yeah, I gotta take the computer apart. Why? Because his father has a network adapter. Network card, I should say, in his computer, it has an antenna, yeah, an antenna that kind of goes using a coax cable almost hooked in through it. That yeah, one of those kind of network cards. One that I'm not used to seeing it a lot these days. And when I install, reinstall Windows, including Windows, well, basically it was Windows 7, Windows 7 would not pick it up. The network card, and, and when I go into device manager, it has no error, so it's not saying that there's anything missing yet. If I don't have the computer using a wide connection, the desktop, using it like an Ethernet forward, and I try to use that network card, it won't work. And I don't know the brand name of the network card, so I don't know to go online and find out what network card it is and get the drivers. So, right now, I get the computer plugged into my, with an Ethernet cable into my router so that it can have an internet connection until I get the time to basically take it apart. Which I probably might do, well today is Wednesday, the 26th of August, so I'll probably do it maybe this evening, but then again I kind of want to watch Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm still working on Season 2, I'm about halfway through Season 2. There's like 22 episodes, I'm at the 10th episode, so I'm really close to almost halfway. Damn it! Freaking... Oh man, yeah. where the hell did that come from? That just came out of nowhere, like an RKO from Randy Orton. Which reminds me, I did see Summer Slam the other night. Actually, I watched Summer Slam at my house here with uh, Nuki Bongo. You know, Nuki Bongo's a WWE fan too, so uh, he came over and we watched the four hour um, Summer Slam. I gotta say, I was really impressed with Summer Slam. I liked it, I thought it was really good. Um, not surprised that, spoiler alert if you're a wrestling fan and you don't know, uh, I'm not surprised that Seth Rollins spent John Cena to become, well, he was a World Heavyweight Champion anyway, and now he's also United States Champion. Wasn't surprised. Saw that coming from like two times over kind of thing. Uh, all because of John Stewart! Yeah, John Stewart, it's John Stewart, John. Yeah, John Stewart, uh, Stewart actually um, screwed John Cena at the title. Uh, by doing like a cheer shot to the gun, so that was, I didn't see that coming, the John, I knew, I kind of figured it was going to be some kind of screw job, maybe, you know, Triple H or something getting involved, I didn't expect John Stewart to get involved, uh, in Casino, but, you know, that's cool, uh, Brock Lesnar and Undertaker ended in controversy, in controversy, um, Undertaker, apparently Undertaker tapped out for the first time in history, but the ref was on the other side and did not see it, and the timekeeper rang the bell, 
when the ref didn't signal for it, and in the end, Lesnar thought he won, and then when the ref was telling, telling people that the match was not over, uh, Undertaker did a heel move, which is basically he did a low blow on Le Brock Lesnar, and when the match continued, he made Lesnar pass out, basically, to a submission move. So, it ended in controversy, but uh, in the back of books, it will show that Lesnar uh, lost. Yeah, but it was pretty good, you know. Kevin Owens beat Cesaro. It kind of was a must-win, in my opinion, for Owens. And I, I, I do like uh, Cesaro's character, but I really did want Owens to win that match. Uh, Divas match, I knew that. The tri triple threat elimination match, I knew Paige's team was winning. That was pretty obvious that they were going to have them Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch uh, were going to go over on the Bella, Team Bella and like, Team Bad. Um, no. Ziggler and Rusev, I didn't see that ending in a no contest. I kind of thought I saw Dolph Ziggler winning that, but it ended in a no contest, actually. Surprised me. Tag titles, I was kind of hoping for PTP to keep the titles, the uh, Pantone Warriors, but the New Day one. And then the New Day is not a team I really like that much, but I can understand why people like them. They can grow on you. Uh, after watching Raw the other night and seeing them, Xavier Woods come up with the trombone, I'm starting to kind of like this tag team a bit, but you know, the Dudley Boy is kind of giving it. Dudley uh, 3D on Raw the other night too. Xavier Woods was kind of awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it was a pretty good pay-per-view, I must say. And you know, I've seen this in hacks before, like falling rocks, uh, fire coming up out of the lava like that, so it's not anything new. New to this, hack probably. Prada plants are kind of in interesting, because they're actually Prada plants, they're actually munches. Actually, munches. But anyway, once this level's done, I'm probably gonna stop the video. I don't want to go too far in the world eight. All right. Let's see what we unlock now. Maybe it's a switch palace now, or like a fortress or something like that. Or. Entrance to the back of the castle. Oh, fortress. So I'll see you all in the next video when we take on the rest of this world. Peace out.